Hey guys, welcome to ESL TV. Um, my name is Steven and next to me is Marcus. He will be joining me today in our live stream. Uh, what you will see today is our EMS finals in World of Tanks. And yes, uh, the both teams will be playing against each other. It's first pad versus the red. Team red. Should both names are quite famous really in World of Tanks. You should, I reckon you already heard something about them. And um, yes, before we get started, we still have to invite all the players. It was somehow some players was not online at the moment. So um, what, I'll invite the, uh, what I'll invite the players, I think, Marcus could uh, tell you a bit about the game, what you would actually be seeing, what is the EMS, uh, and things like that. So go ahead, Marcus. Yeah, uh, welcome, viewers. Um, yeah, we are today here to view the EMS finals. And um, what we can say about the teams, um, both teams are really experienced teams in this uh, season. They play a lot of cups and leech uh, and very, very um, experienced teams. and. I think we will get a really, really hard fight tonight on five maps. It's best of five, so we have a lot of World of Tanks today in the program. Uh, yeah, and I hope you will enjoy it. Um, yeah, Steven, the room is still open? Yeah, the room is open. Um, I'm trying to... Uh, I'll, I'll just open the... Uh, the room is set as invite only at the moment. I'll set it to okay. open for everybody, so the if Team Red We'll see, they can already start joining, but I'm inviting them at the moment as well. The problem is, uh, we wanted to invite them before, but not every player was online, so... Oh, I see the game. I'm just in. So... Mark is in as well now. The first map is Cliff, I see. Yep. Okay, um, yeah. If you want, um, we can go uh, to explain a bit on the map. So I will do it if you want. So, um, yeah, the first map is Cliff, and um, Red will start in the second base. So, um, just a moment, I switch in game that you can see my view. And here I am, yeah, we see the map cliff. Um, red will start on the north from position two. Here you see where my mouse cover is. And uh, first pad from Poland will start in the south position on position one. Um, the earth is slightly the better position if you chose position two, because you get a better position on the small hill here on the plateau. <coughs> and you can better aim to the small village here, so that's why I think Red chose um, this position and it's a place on um, the same in this tactic of the team with an artillery and a an, um, fast medium pen, sir, uh, tank, so I think um, that's why they chose this position. Oh, first players are joining and yeah, let's go back to Steven. Steven. Yes, um, I'm just saying the stream is too bright at the moment. Um, I'll quick have a look. It, but it also looks perfect, to be honest. So, oh, I will fix it. Yeah, um, um, Yeah. what you can say about the map? What do you think, which tactic we will play today? It's quite a good question. You have to see which tanks will join first. I can already see a Hummel here at the moment. So, uh, I suppose we'll see quite a lot of action on the right-hand side of the map, over the hill. Um, let's have a look. So, I'll start putting the players in. Uh, I will oh. be streaming Team 2, Marks will stream Team 1, so... Yes. Yeah, and the teams are joining soon and really hot. I um, can already see... Oh, he's not in the team. So, I can already see Fast Scout by First Pad and a Humo, so... Oh, and a Humo by Team Red 2, so it looks like this could be a, um, a mirror match. Yeah, I think maybe uh, both teams will play the same tactics and with a an, uh, fast me uh, a light tank and an artillery. Um, to get the overview at this map, it's really important that you have the view. If you're blind on this map, you um, can't win even <coughs> without a scout. It's um, nearly impossible to win this map. Definitely, because um, the thing is, uh, fast, fast scouts, they will be uh, trying to look for a bush at, at the beginning. We could say, um, on Marcus, we on Marcus screen. Yeah, I switch back to my position. And here, yeah, where my mouse goes, there is a bush, it's an uh, important scout position in the uh, first game, in the early game. If you get this position first, and uh, from north you are two or three seconds faster than from south, you get the position and the view of the nearly whole uh, enemy team and can change your position or switch the tactic in the early game. So, uh, still not every player has joined. That's yeah. pretty good. I can see which player is missing. Um, so, we get this started. Started fast. So um, yeah. Uh, what do you think about the patch? It's better to play now World of Tanks, or what do you it's think is really good? It's quite an interesting patch, to be honest. Um, many things have been modified. We have yeah, two sure. new maps as well. They are quite, quite big, to be honest. Open yeah. maps, you, you can uh, 
Yeah, it's got a quite a lot of tactics. We also think about uh, introducing them into the ESL as well. So, mm -hmm. pretty cool to be honest. Uh, we'll have to see what goes on. But what's pretty cool too is the skins. We introduce new skins. Yeah, the skins. I like the I use for my own, and I yeah. buy a lot of skins for my tanks. It's really nice and. It's it's like your tank's a special one on the map, and yeah. you're not the same tank like every other one. You have the special one with a special skin, and it looks pretty nice. Yeah, sure. At the moment, they don't really have a function, so uh, it's nothing special. You, you yeah, don't the get optics. No yeah, that's just the main thing at the moment. It costs, yeah. a bit of, costs a bit of gold, but I think it's worth it to be honest. Quite qu looks nice. You will see some skins in a bit, I suppose. I reckon the Team Red has already got a few um, skins on their tanks. They probably have enough gold to be honest. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, we also have we also both have our skins on, so we have a short look at it. So the teams are finally getting full now. Um, yeah, only one player is missing from Team Red. Uh, yeah, just so I've, I've uh, set up the wrong side anyway. So let's swap them all around. So uh, I'll ask you, which team do you want to uh, be streaming? You want to stream Team Red or First Pad? Um, I will stay in Team Red for the first round, I think, and it's uh, more interesting for me to see the north position from Team Red and this um, map. So, yeah, <laughs> the guys riding there are seeing me. Yeah, nice. <laughs> hey ho. I'm not sure if it's really that nice seeing you, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah, the switch sides, and I go to Team 2, and I think um, soon we can switch in game and start with the first round. Yeah. Let's have a look who's missing. Yeah. Um, you have to switch the in settings. F uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, um, so while we're, while we're training settings, it will be, be done at the moment. Um, we can take a closer look at the teams. Yeah. Um, what do we have at the moment at Team Red? I, w w uh, as far as I see, we have some standard players. I can yeah, it, it's really the normal lineup, I think. That we play oh, uh, we have a VK, uh, um, yeah, yeah. uh, T32, uh, one Pershing, the Tier 1 Hamel, and T50. It's a, a normal setup. I didn't, uh, didn't think that they will change the setup. So. Yeah, it's like uh, you can see the T1 and the T50, they both are the fast scouts in the match. Yeah. And uh, like Mark already said before, they will be scouting for the artillery, get some nice good shots in at the beginning. Yeah. And yeah, then uh, usually Pershing is, is a tier 8, it's a maximum high, uh, maximum tier level what you can have in game, or what you can have uh, in, in ESL. And uh, he'll be kind of, can we say, kind of a scout too? Or Mm. E e like yeah. mediums, they take f they take many roles because mediums are the fast tanks. They can yeah, uh, uh, high speed. Usually, you have to play the scout if the T50 is down, but then normally you use him more as fast heavy tank that can only go in the position. It's important here to get control about um, the higher places on the map, and I think it's uh, the Pershing is faster than the heavy tanks and still have a really good gun with good penetration. That's, that's definitely the yeah. really strong gun. W um, the gun have really a high penetration. I think 264 penetration with the Pershing. It's more than some heavy, so that's why many teams use the Pershing. So one more one player is missing by uh, first pad, and then we can get started. Uh, uh, but can you see what name is written? Because I've only see I can only see stars. Um. I can just check up the I can check the lineup. So here, uh, if we can quick go on my screen. I think it's RMF. Here we go, my screen. Then you can have a quick look at the ESL for people who don't know the ESL yet. We hope you can join us soon. Here we have the match sheet. You see, first pad is on the left side, Team Red on the right side. Here we have a, a nice overview of the of the maps. Who will start where? And here are the lineups. So let's check which players are missing. We have EGS is in, Nitrous is in, CNF is in. Oh. I know where's where the mistake is. There we go. Here we go. The team is full. Yeah. Uh, so Maker is still offline and two players are left, so we yeah, still have a short delay. Tanks. Um I'll quick have a look at the lineups done so far. Yeah, um uh, what do you think? Who, which team is to win, and what's the result of the game today? Ah, that's quite a hard question, really. Uh, to be honest, Team Red is at the moment the best team in the ESL. You you can say what you want. They kind of win quite a lot at the moment, and mm. they won a lot of money in it as well. So you can try if you think you're better than Team Red. Uh, but I think 
because we've been playing for so much money, 4,000 euros, mm. the winner we'll get today, I'm quite sure first Pat has thought of some uh, pretty interesting tactics, I think, because they do want to win, so uh, they're gonna tr I reckon they're going to try something. Mm. And uh, just reading, Team Red is ready. So, um, yeah, if we look at the lineup, I see it's a mirror match, so... Um, so, yeah, let us switch in-game and take a look on this. Yes, and because, okay. because it's a mirror match, I think this first map will go to Team Red, because I just know uh, Team Red, they've, they've played this map so many times. All right, first pet has played it quite a lot of times too, but Team Red always kind of wins it. So mm. um, I'm quite sure Red will win this, but I'll be, I'll be quite surprised if first pet will win it. So let's see. Uh, I hope yeah. we get a quite interesting match. And uh, by the looks of it, it's ready now. Room time, I have to modify the room time to t uh, 10 yeah. minutes. And now it looks like both teams ready. First pad. First pad is ready. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're switching on. I just heard the stream is down as well, but uh, that can't be. No, I say don't think stream is. Oh. The stream is still live. What time is it at the moment? Because I think it's because of the delay. Yeah, because of delay, uh, it's going to be down. So you'll see it. We're a bit further than you. That's why. So. Yeah, let us start into the game, or? No, I still got no ready off Team Red yet. Uh, off uh, first pad. Okay, I understand. Because we don't, we don't get out, starting yeah. and then they waste their gold equipment mm. and so on, and it's just a waste of time. Uh, tell him that we have some delay. So, um, yeah. Mm. Um, What's going on with them? Ah, okay, the one was just still trying ah, to Ah, okay, time. no, we can start going in game. So, um, I think in the first few uh, seconds, I uh, will uh, rush from Bagamot and um, the T50 Xena from uh, first bed to the um, brush in the middle yeah. and try to scout the enemy uh, team. I suggest that we will uh, take a close look at them right at the beginning then to see what they do. Uh, do you think one of the teams will play some sneaky tactics or will see really standard uh, um, I think tactics? Team Red will stick to the t uh, standard tactics and I think because Team Red is so strong, First Pet will try some special tactics. I hope. It will be quite interesting to see something like that. Yeah. So, uh, oh, and we have to wait another minute. So let's keep talking. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah sure. Yeah, so you think um, uh, First Pet will react on the tactics um, from Red because they know that Red will all uh, play all the time the same tactics? So yeah, yeah, I think... I think um, to try something special to beat yeah, this tactic. First Pet, I reckon First Pet watch some replays, watch some streams because we already have some streams online. Mm -hmm. And uh, I reckon they will, s they will see the uh, standard tactic and they probably might have an answer for mm -hmm. it already. But I think on this map, because this map is so important that you get to the spotting position in the middle, we will see a standard uh, mm. standard start. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'll be quite quite happy to see something special. Yeah, I hope we will see something special, and I hope the team's ready. Uh, I have to change the voice. Chat settings too. But yeah, and, and settings. Settings and volume. And what do you want me to change? I don't get it. Oh, 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 yeah, change your settings. Well, they don't want to hear us in game. That's why. Oh, okay, that's okay. But I haven't got uh, voice chat enabled anyway, so that wouldn't be no problem. Uh, I think, um, yeah, it's disabled. I have don't have disabled it, so no problem here. Okay, let's go. Back to game. Let's go. Yeah, let us. I hope last time I have to switch in game. We will start with your spectator. I will start with my screen yeah. if you okay. wish. So and off we go. The match starts. So match starts. We are in game. We are live. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. Welcome, guys, uh, to watch this final first map between first pad and red. Yeah. Okay. So the loading nearly done. That's nice. Oh, perfect. I've got perfect spawn. I have not spawn near the base. Yeah. Me too. Quick so tell them to th they don't have to kill us, or else they will like lose too much time. So where's your T50? Has your T50 got a nice spawning position? To no, get it's not, so not not the best position, but I think it's fast enough to get uh, earlier than the enemy T50. We can switch a short look what is your team doing. Switch, you mm. can see it. Okay, I switch That's back to my and... Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead also. And sec, where's the T50? The chase cam, where are you? And here's a chase cam switching to Belmont and his T50 rushing through the front of the bush and yeah. I have 
we have to wait what he's doing and yeah Red spilled really the same tactic like every game on Cliff. Tier 1 to the line 1 and 2, T50 straight to the front, artillery A4 and the heavy is trying up to the hill. And let us look what he sees. He sees the first tier 8 from Pet, there's the enemy yeah. T50 from Xynef. Both, both tried to get the bush, but nobody yeah. got it at the moment, so let's so see what I do now. I yeah. just saw Team Red. I switch to your camera if you want, and can yeah. you see what the enemy T50 is doing? I think it's doing exactly the same as your T50. No, yeah. not at all. My T50 is driving back, is quite kind of scared. Doesn't want to die mm straight at the beginning. Uh, let us look what the artillery is doing. I switch back to my position. I think here we have a bright side here. On the first hit is done from the second hit from red to Natrius. I think red um, gets his uh, straight into position here in with the Pershing and uh, T32. On this end, can uh, aim to the flank of uh, first pet. And first pet, I think I will try to get around to lighthouse and come from behind. So now we have some. Two tanks in the middle. Yeah. Um, uh, what's about uh, behind the lighthouse? Can you switch the camera and see us what is behind the lighthouse? So um, here's we one. have oh okay. the line We have two. Um, I have to say sorry uh, because I haven't got the mod installed, so you can't see which tanks are actually driving there as good as by Marcos, but it still work. So what we got is uh, run the lighthouse. There are two T32s and at the front um, a VK45. And okay. so there's three T8 tanks waiting behind the lighthouse, and I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I switch. I think my T50 here will spot them soon, but he's not driving away. And oh no, stupid! If he stay, he would see them that yeah. much faster. The team can react because the uh, red is now splitting up and try to go um, to cap with the tier one and the Geratic in his V car. But there's a T50 from Schweinef and still spotted him. Yeah, but uh, to be honest, uh, if you go. Uh, in my game, you can see that nobody has been spotted in the middle. All right, we got the first spotted tank in the middle, a tier eight. So the tanks will already uh, slip through the middle. Yeah. Um, they could start capturing in a bit. Ah, I think we have a battle up. here uh, on your side. I switch also to this, and um, yeah. Um, Red tried to get the Pershing uh, from ice. He's really alone in this position, and nobody can help him. And um, Boost heavy tanks and the Pershing try to hit him, and the foul car from Thomas just two way behind and can't really help. So the uh, red drive through on and kill the Pershing and don't get any hits. It's not that good for a pet. Okay, now then starts the first pet has to now have to speed up, have to chase the red tanks while they're driving through and gonna cap in a bit. It kind of looks like uh, so Team Red's already I won this map. I switched to your position and can better see the battle in front. And by the looks of it, uh, yeah. We got three T8s in the middle and this small village against two T8s. Uh, I reckon red both tanks could die now, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to uh, win so much time that Team Red can uh -huh. just capture the uh, flag to the end. Yeah, I think uh, red has a better position in this map yet. You know, um, can aim on the enemies and don't have to block. They ha don't have to kill them and a pet have to rush and ha try to kill. And still the artillery from uh, red is shooting from behind. So now uh, the enemies are burning and they no can't kill fire and yeah, yeah I think the first round will go to red and definitely we've uh, already lost yeah. two, one T8 left we still got the T50 and the T1 but yeah. they won't be able to win anything anymore but we see a different game I th uh, as I thought I thought, I thought um, that uh, red will play the uh, normal tactic and first pet will do doing some sneaky like they do in this game with team red yeah so yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's really um, maybe that's maybe nice. that's exactly the reason why they tried something sneaky because uh, usually they play the standard tactics and now that they uh, have to play for 4,000 euro, that's quite a lot of money. They think, well, our opponents, will reckon, I reckon they know how we play, so let's yeah. try something special. And, and first round is over. Nice. And that worked pretty good. So that's quite, that was quite a cool match, really. Team Red, uh, at the end, still has f uh, all four tier 8 tanks left, so that's pretty, that's really good what they've done there. And they still got their artillery, and yeah, all they lost were yeah. their scouts, so that was, quite, that was quite a good match, really. Yeah, sure, but I'm um, really impressed by the tactic change from Ed, that they don't play as normal tactics, and yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Um, next map we will see is Prohorovka, and Pet starting from base one. Um, base one, the north position, it's... Um, we will uh, load the map and you can show. Yeah, I will show a and bit I will the try map. to fix the modification what I should have installed. So, um, yeah, let us talk about Prohorovka. You can see the map now on my screen. Position north here, starting uh, first pet, and position south starting by red. I think we will um, boost teams play um, the same lineup. Maybe um, 
uh, with two artilleries uh, from from first pet, but uh, that's not sure. And um, you have a slightly better position from north, because the tanks get um, better spotted from the enemy if you get a light tank here in this position. When you got a light tank up to this position, you can spot nearly the uh, whole line one, two, and the middle without seen by any other tanks. Um, um, the main fight, I think, will be um, placed in this town here. And yeah, one team will sh for sure rush in the city on and this way here, or from north on this way, and try to defend the town, stay utterly safe, and yeah, bring the game to the side and will win the second round. I hope first pet will uh, play the tactics with two T-52 two and um, two small artillery and um, it seems so. I see one T-52 by Xynef and Xony uh, with a Grilla. So um, we see a different tactic here and the same tactic on Team Red but we switch the artillery from Hummel to M41. Yeah, do I have to restart the game so my modification works as far as I know? No, I no. Okay, so let's swap the teams. Bring them all over. Do you want to be streaming Team Red again? Yes, but you don't have to change the teams. What, uh, Pet starting on position one, so we can stay. Yeah, and, and I will uh, and watch um, this time first pet, I think. No, first pet from position one? Yeah. Yeah, do it. So. And him, and him. Mm. First pet, base one. Yeah, no. yeah that's what, uh, Okay. Oh, my fault, sorry. Yeah, it was your fault. <laughs> I was doing that. Okay. So, but now we... Uh, uh, need you done, need you done. And we have him, and him. Where's the last one? So. So, now we're ready. I have a quick check if both teams ready too. Oh, oh, they want to change a player, so we have to invite one. Um, invite. So. Butcher. I switch up back into the studio. And this. If both teams are ready, we directly switch in back into the game. But um, first, yeah. I have to change a player. Don't know the reason, but I think it because they have the better tank and for this position or the better crew on the tank. Yeah, well Gorski is out with his T32 and yeah, the switch and Butcher, I think he will play the similar tank. Don't know why they have to switch. Maybe all players want to play in the final because it's a really big event for the team and they have more than seven players. So before we get starting, one small thing. Um, you can go on the ESL page and look for the match. I will send the link in the chat. In the, uh, in the stream chat, so by clicking on that link, you can just enter your in-game nick from World of Tanks, and uh, one of you will be looking and get one thousand gold. Five. Oh, so yeah, we have Not we have only we have one. We yeah, have five thousand gold to get uh, the players. Yeah. yeah I didn't, I didn't really announce, nice. I didn't want to announce all five at the moment, so we have something for later. But yeah, you can just start it ty typing your uh, World of Tank in-game nicks into the news, and then we will give five random players one thousand yeah. gold. So just. Give it a try. Nothing yeah, really nice that this is possible for the guys. And yeah, I think um, if you got more than 100 guys signing in or more, we have some special present for two or three guys as an extra gift. But let us look if we get enough. Okay. <laughs> I <forgot laughs> one more player. Okay, now that we should be ready. Okay, let us switch in game and take a look what's going on. Let's hope that my. So. Asking if the teams are ready. Separate the voice chats. Is still I don't asking. know why he's asking with the voice chats. Uh, it should be in the room disabled. settings. Okay. Some problems with the uh, server uh, settings, I think. Let's fix short and then we can start the second map. I can't really change anything with the. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what's the problem. Okay, now I'm ready. Red is ready, and yeah, we're waiting for the go from first pass that we can start on the f second round with uh, Matt Prorovka and first pad versus the red in the EMS final match 
best of five and the winner takes 4,000 euro, I think. It's a really, really huge amount of money for this game. But you have to say, the second place doesn't go with empty hand, uh, hands. They would also win 2,500 euro. Yeah, so also not that bad. So but, uh, if you have the choice between 4,000 euro and 2,500, I would rather take the 4,000. So <laughs> who not, who not, yeah. Yeah, so let's, yeah, yeah. let's see what the first bet has to do uh, well, what they would do to Oh, with going in-game and starting the game. So now we have pretty interesting. We have two grills on my, uh, my team. Uh, turn down my in-game volume. Uh, and yes, yeah, so two grills. If they, f if they shoot with um, premium ammunition, what I suppose they will be doing, they can do as much damage as the artillery on the other side. So, um, yeah. A little bit of... Game volume. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe it's with the game volume. Or do you so think without? I'd okay. rather prefer it with. Okay. No, oh, let us look I what the teams are doing. Um, we can listen to our voices like for 20 minutes or half an hour, whatever. <laughs> the guys would like to listen to some sounds. So I'm killed and done, and let us look what the teams are doing. I'm dead too. Um, So and the T50 is directly oh the whole team from red is going um, to the right side of the tracks and try to get the village. I think the Pershing will go through the hill in front. Or they're still aiming. We what have they the want same to see. on my side as well. We have the, uh, all three T8s will be on the left side over the railway, I and we have the two grills mm -hmm. in the in bushes in the bushes and yeah. a scout in the village. So. Um, they will be trying, and I can see that the tanks have already been detected, so let's see what's going on. Yeah, the Team Red is nearly blind, they only see Nitros in this T32, so um, well, it's it's now they're nice completely blind. I don't know if pa First Pet see any... No, they pet. don't see no... Ta oh, no, they see every oh. uh, all three T8 tanks okay, in the middle. Okay, Xynef is still spotted now, and uh, Ice with his T32, and Nitros also. And yeah, we will th have the fight in the city here. So I switched to a heavy here. I suppose here from this we go down Sherwood. to the artillery. If the artillery does good damage, and we see the first hit by uh, by a grill, that's with oh, and the second hit. So sorry, 300 damage to the one T32 is not spotted anymore. Yeah. And, and another the hit, hit against yeah. red, and still I every single tank of yeah, first bed is still full. So um, yeah. yeah, red is don't know what to do. Uh, that really, they have to stay a bit more defensively and try to get some targets for their arty. But they didn't see anything. Maybe it's nitrous mm -hmm. get some hits, but he, I think it's really safe for the yeah, red the artillery. The first pet is pretty artillery, s artillery safe. The first uh, we just had one shot against um, nitrous. But oh, and Xynef tried to hunt the T50 from Begemot, and I think he will get him. Oh, he's yeah, burning. He's it's burning really nice. Nice. angry that he's burning. So he won't be able to escape anymore. The T50 no, no. is. Fast enough, he can shoot, d do enough damage. And the only hit the Bergamot has, uh, he missed Xynef. So and there's <laughs> another hit. Oh, and now we have a burning tank in the village. Uh, I, I switched to your position. I, can't, the I, I, can't, I can't really understand why they don't have a fire extinguisher on the tank, because by such a match, I would always have to autom automatic one. Costs only 50 gold, yeah. but it's worth it. But oh, Xynef gets the artillery. That's a really important point for Pet. I think when they get the Eclipse down and... Um, yeah, one tank's going to be good. Both will lose one T8, but the problem is uh, red has one T8 more, so it's yeah. Still and safe. you see, Xynef played really well. Eclipse has no chance, and to see it, Xynef say, "I'm the tiger, I get you." <laughs> <laughs> so now, uh, oh, there's another T8. Yeah, now. let's switch back to your position and let us look what's uh, up in the city and uh, who's winning the yeah, city. Yeah, the T52 is still is trying to do damage against the T8, and it's doing it pretty good because it's fast. It can keep on dodging the shots, and oh, two excellent shots against the Pershing. Uh, that was like he was full HP, two shots from the grill, and he only had five HP left. That was that was pretty insane. That was a really good shot, or two two excellent shots to be honest, and that was yeah. really nice. Yeah. Our first and, uh, and now I switch to the final point of view of kill the red. So he hides in the bush with the T1 here and behind yeah. and defends the base. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be doing much. I don't think that he will do anything in he this game. He can die like a hero instead uh, yeah. of hiding like a coward. He can just drive out there yeah. and do as much damage as possible. Mm. I reckon he won't do no damage anyway, but he yeah. still can. Be a hero. Thomas and his T-52 is rushing to the base and now he can show his uh, hero skills. Pity that you haven't got your sound activated because now we could hear the nice uh, sound what they uh, added with the new uh, mod or the new patch from yesterday. It's like a nice big alarm. 
as if planes would be bombing a town or whatever. How you know it out like old World War Two films and so on. Yeah, it's and uh, cool. I think he tried to survive and save uh, the coast to repair his tank. He doesn't need actually have a repair cost, he only has the reloading <laughs> cost, so... Yeah. Well, that's like next to nothing. But it's it make no sense if you rush, but uh, Thomas yeah, so tried to get him. So he's going to be a coward and not die like a hero. Ah, no, he gets a zero point. Ah, say, no, <laughs> now he's a hero. That's how we like from some Russian, or now he's Ukraine. From a Ukraine guy, he has pride, he's going down. If he has to die, then we're in a battle. Nice. Yeah, and that's 1-1. Uh, that was a pretty interesting battle. The match is even again. That was cool. The way, uh, the Grills, they would do an excellent job against the m Yeah, and that now was I, think, uh, I think the real important point uh, was Xenev who play um, a really nice uh, scout round with his T-52. Um, he killed the T-50 from Team Red and the artillery yeah. without getting any damage. And what's what really the point of winning this game, because he takes uh, two important scouts and uh, the artillery from Red out. And that yeah. But that wasn't, uh, that wasn't it, what he done. He also, after doing this, he drove back to the battle in the village and also tried to pick off a, um, uh, off a T-8. And he didn't quite good damage. You have a message there that you have to disable. Yeah, I, I told you. Settings. I do it again, but I uh, still have it. Let just us just look. Just not go down the. No. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So um, next map is. Let's have a look over there. Himmelsdorf. So now Himmelsdorf. We just oh. had a nice open match. Good for artillery. And now we have Himmelsdorf. Artillery is kind of useless, nearly. So. Let's see what lineup they'll be playing now. Himmelsdorf is open. Yeah, and back to game. And uh, it's also a good solution as well. Yeah, what do you think we will see here on tactics? Uh, any team will play with an artillery on Himmelsdorf, or we see only heavy tanks? Uh, I don't think it would be clever doing that. Uh, because why should I play artillery in a, oh in, yeah, a sure. in a village? They could do they could use the artillery as a uh, tank destroyer, but uh, that's kind of a waste too because they will get one shot in and then will die instantly. So I don't think they will do that. Yeah, I shot the switch uh, to my vision, and we can talk about the map. And here we are in game back, and yeah, um, the Reds starting from base two in this game from the south position. So we have didn't have to change the teams, and yeah. We have the heavy line on line 8, I think, here this line will uh, mostly the heavy tanks fighting on the public map. The, and what I think it's a really interesting, or maybe it's important point, if anyone takes the hill and get up to the church. What do you think the teams want to try to get this? Um, I think they will rather, or the way I would play it, I will rather stick to, um, to the 8 line, like at the bottom, not go on the hill because um, yeah, if you once you're up there and get back down and so on, if you're unlucky in the team, the other yep. team is at the bottom, until you get down there to the action, you'll just lose too much time. So, yeah, I think to be honest, uh, but we, we have to say in the, in the EPS finals, we did see an interesting tactic, tactic with going up in the, uh, on the hill. So yeah, sure, and aiming from the hill uh, in yeah. the enemy base and try to get it. Yeah, sure. So, uh, one more setting, you have to go menu and change off the... No. Okay. Yeah, do it. it. Um, yeah, and... Um, I think that the main battle in this time uh, will in the marketplace in the middle of the map and maybe on uh, the light uh, on the left side where the tracks are placed and um, yeah I think the right side of the line eight and the church on the hill will not see much tanks in this uh, battle. No, I don't think so either. Uh, one player from Team Red is now missing, if I count it correct. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, first bet also switch. Uh, like with Gorski, so I think uh, uh, the teams want that all every uh, single player and team has the chance to play with this really big event from the ESL. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a fair, uh, fair I think that everyone gets a chance. Uh, everyone do something for the team. Everyone brings the team to this point. But it also shows that the team, because both both clans are really big clans, like uh, Team Red, they have thousands of players, thousands of yeah, members, sure. and First Pet has a couple of hundred too. So. Doing this, you can see that they don't just have like one lineup that's really good. They have dozens of players who are excellent players. So uh, trying some new players and so on is quite good, quite interesting, and uh, shows how professional these teams are. So um, can't uh, is that the trying new players, uh, all experienced players, and yeah, all play a lot of games for the team, and it's only um, we can like look for example. Huh. Let me click on one player who we have here. Uh, I think that was a not a good ex. Uh, Ah, no, good. It's Cenef. If you look at Cenef's profile, 
Uh, we see 5,000 matches altogether in his history, in his World of Tanks history. We can, we can have a quick look. Here we yeah. go. He has f nearly 5,000 matches, 63% victories. Uh, so that's a really, good really that's nice. A, that's a yeah. really good statistic. Uh, we have like in his top tanks, IS-7, 64%, and as a scout, excellent scout, 66%. Um, yeah, it's just that's he's a really great player. I've already played against him once uh, in, in in a random match. It wasn't even planned, so it was nice to see. It was an interesting match, and he is a pretty good player. And yeah. it's not just CNF; the whole team, uh, both teams, they are excellent. Mm. Yeah, sure. So As really, uh, the whole team is uh, experienced. Uh, so I think they can switch the players and have. Uh, yeah, definitely. Everybody, no everybody. Uh, waste. It's just as good as the other players. So sure. last player has been invited. Should be in game now. So we can start with the third map. There he is. Everything fine. Let's get the ready. Begemot down now. Uh -uh. Uh, well then there's still one player short. Oh. Steel Smasher. So another player missing. KK, we switch so again. So don't, don't forget, guys. Uh, click on the link I posted in the stream. Yeah. Write your in-game na uh, name on the European server. Do it, do it, and win 1,000 gold. Five players got the chance to win the gold. We can have a look how many have done it. So yeah, maybe we have a start. I should present for them. Maybe, maybe. Oh, that's no so comments at all. Th so that's that's a bit that's a bit sad. Nobody wants gold. Uh, Maybe you have to post. We have, a we, have game. we have 500 people watching. So yeah. why not? I'll repost the link. Just type in your type your in-game neck and win. Okay. So, so many things yeah. have been quit pretty awful. Uh, so steel smasher is in. Um, you have to move him up, and then yeah, I, I was, I was just start. reading some comments in the chat. They say we're not that good, but okay. that's okay. If you think we're not that good, we're happy for some feedback. Just give us. Just tell us what to do. We've got some in-game messages as well. Desert Arms is writing me. Seems to be a cool guy. Hello, Desert Arms. <laughs> Hello. So no. uh, yes, last player's in. Let's get out ready again. So, um, let us switch in game if we can start and try to get the view of my monitor here. Zack, and here we are. So, yeah. Team Red is ready. We see the nearly the same lineup uh, red play with um, four t32 and one uh, four car and um, first pet play with uh, three t32 and two four car maybe with this fast tanks to try to get the hill but uh, i think mm, we don't I know. Still, no there's only heavy tanks so i don't really think they will be doing but that but like we said there's no artillery at all yeah by uh, why they uh, use no es3 i think it's a really powerful tank on this map Definitely on this map, because on this map you have some slopes uh, where they can hide behind and only yeah. showing their turrets. Uh, but if you think about it, the T-32 is quite good as well, because they have a strong turret. Yeah. If they use the slopes to hide, but... But uh, doing less damage uh, yeah, than an E3, definitely. and uh, E3 also gets some um, nice bounces with this turret. Definitely. So, uh, still can't get started. Fast pad is... Fast pad still need one minute. Adjust adjusting their <laughs> tanks. I reckon they might be... Maybe they need some new tactics. I don't know, but well I think af af after that match, I'm not quite sure if uh, it's so it's going to be so easy for Red because that was really that was a really nice match, one of the best matches I ever seen, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, uh, way the way they, they played the village, that was that was really that was really nice. The artillery, how I they done it. Didn't see first pet playing on Himmelsdorf and uh, Red Aether, so I don't know. No, no. If I had these, this is the first time I watched these two uh, teams on Himmelsdorf, so it's going to be quite interesting. To see. Well, you can t tell us how d how do your t uh, does your team play Himmelsdorf? How would your team uh, start? W uh, we play um, 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 an end um, between line eight and the middle, or <coughs> and waiting for the enemy to push and then uh, try to um, surround the enemies. Or we use a straight way on line eight and try to kill the enemy tank. So we drive uh, with four uh, heavies and one um, lead back to defend the base. And the four heavies try to attack and get the two or three uh, enemy heavies waiting um, here on this point of uh, view when we're starting in the south or here when we're starting from north and try directly to get into the fight and uh, use the um, uh <coughs> improvement that we attack first and uh, yeah. uh, take the uh, place to fight. So uh, let's see if 
one of the oh, ones who should do, okay. it, do exactly the same tactic. Um, yeah, but like I already said, I reckon they'll be doing a similar tactic. Everything else would be interesting to see if it would even work, but I'm pretty sure it won't work because the speed of the tanks isn't enough. They only have 10 minutes, and in 10 minutes they have to get up the hill, fight, yeah, get back uh, down the hill. But it's, it's uh, for sure possible with those tanks, for sure. So I have to drive out the circle. Um, the scouts by, by first pet are pretty good. They have pretty good s uh, spawns. Points. Yeah, mm, the tier one scouts red. You see uh, on the line one, uh, two, and three. Is it to scout? And I think the heavies will turn on the right okay. way of the view. I have some marking positions from CNF at the moment. And uh, I switched to you, and, and you can marked, show the he marked team. D4. So uh, it looks like they were going for the the uh, the left side of the map. Yeah, and it def they definitely are. I kill. So we are out. So somehow. So I can see all all four um no all five TA tanks are going to the right hand side and going to the free row. And uh I don't know what Team Red is doing, but I switch to the red same. and we see the try to attack on the left side of the map. So we have exactly so the same yeah, we, have we have this first two spotted tanks on uh the first hit was done by Kilroy, but no, the first shoot it didn't hit. No but no hits at all. And maybe no um the first bet has the um, opportunity that they got four tanks on the side and red only two tanks. But they already took two two hits. Uh, so but why he rush? Why he do this? Another three hits. That was that was a bit stupid. One tank's already completely dead now. He uh, only has 200 HP left. One more shot and he's down. He will take the shot now. Yeah, yeah I think it's down. It was really yeah. stupid to rush that, 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 that way. And the next tank is uh, nearly uh, also done. Why don't they wait and try to get yeah, two I tanks get in front? Uh, if you say here, Kurroy and, and Melka was three kills for the four heavies, and now they're driving forward and getting from the side. So another tank is already dead, and one more yeah. shot, and down the next batch is still also and down. And another hit, and another hit. Uh, that's that's definitely uh, that's definitely yeah. lost. That was totally. S you can already say that was stupid. The way they rushed, because uh, the problem as well was they came one by one. Yeah. Because it was in a row, so one tank came, boom, five hits. Next time came, boom, another few hits. So yeah, that was. Uh and now they get surrounded by the team red, and they make it easy uh, the finish easy the team. I can see two T ones rushing to the base now from. Uh from red, yeah, and one yeah, tier one still in the base from red, but I don't think that they will cap. Kilroy is still on the way back. I can, I I can turn up my in-game, so now you can hear the nice sound when the base is getting taken. And yeah, Kilroy is in the base, and uh, usually that was will the alarm. Tier one. The alarm of planes coming into the town. This is now the base being captured. Sounds pretty cool. You get, you get, it gets a nice feeling if you. At yeah, night really. The whole, the whole room is dark. You're like in your tank. Driving around, think, oh yeah, there's the tank, and then all of a sudden you hear this uh, this alarm, and you think, oh shit, and then you get you really oh, get the feeling. Maybe the Gorski can kill Kilroyd and surround him, but I don't think he will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a, pre okay, that was a pretty yeah. uh, a really clear fight. Yeah, uh, I think it was really stupid from Pat rushing like that, really offensive tactic, and. Maybe they hope that uh, Team Red stay more with more tanks on the right side of yeah, the map, lane uh, 8, I, I, I and I don't with all heavy on the left side of the map. But I yeah. think that was exactly that, that was uh, what was the hoping. What was it? What perfect was game hoping. reading, I would oh, say. Sorry. Definitely. But yeah, um, perfect game reading. What will we say more? But is that, is that them doing that what we said? I'm trying to uh, not play the standard yeah. matches and try a special, special tactic because Team Red is an excellent team, and then you have to try something special. And yeah, well, for maybe this time it, it didn't work. was not that special if boost teams play the same <laughs> tactic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or boost teams try to make something special, and yeah, yeah <laughs> we found each other. <laughs> but so, so uh, even even though uh, all teams, all tanks from Team Red was on that side, they still would have to uh, yeah. play it different. Then they can't just drive in there, just rush in there and hope to survive. That wasn't. Yeah, but no, Red gets the lead again, and no, two so to one. This is could be a match game now. So I hope not. I want to see the fifth map because yeah, it's Lakeville and I like Lakeville. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> Next map is Mines. 2-2 two, two and then have a final match. Yeah, that would be pretty, pretty interesting. nice. Yeah. So what, what side? Uh, uh, first pet starting base one on Mines. In the north position, I think. If I no, remember base right. Base one is south position. Uh, I think position one is the north position on uh, uh, Mines. Uh, there's a two. Oh, no, it's oh, no, sure. Okay, you're right. Um, so first pet wants to start in the south position. and. Yeah, um, mm. I switch back in game and short uh, show what it's on here. We can see the map. 
yeah, first bet starting in south position here, so a red starting north position here, and yeah, what we will see in tactic, maybe Pat will switch back to the tactic they play on Pro with uh, two yeah, T52. Then what are you doing it? Uh, can we really see the grill and two T uh, T52? So. I reckon we'll be doing the same, and uh, I can remember I can remember um, a Go Four Cup. What we had, I think, it was Go Four Seventeen, if I have it, if it's mm. correct. And yeah. there, um, first pad done exactly the same. They played with two grills and two T fifty twos against red. Yeah, and, uh, and, and defeat them. I they think. They yeah, they yeah. They didn't just defeat them. They raped them. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so ah, let us see up to uh, get the same today. But it's really hard to play with this tactic. If the enemy yeah. is rushing, playing really aggressive, it's hard to defend the, the poor artillery behind the tanks and. If you have no good um, defense from the artillery of the artilleries, you can't win this game. It's 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 really tricky and not that easy to play. But uh, if any team can play this tactic, then it's first battle. They yeah, really definitely. really do it per nearly perfect. So um, yeah, back uh, to the map and yeah, I think um, the two little artilleries uh, will uh, uh, and one option is to stay them in the base. The second option is to go to the left to the island here and hide here in this position. The enemy can't spot him because it's uh, 500 meters and more. So um, an enemy team can't spot it, the two artilleries if they stay on the left uh, uh, down corner without any other tank in front here. Yeah. Um, the heavies will fight nearly all on the hill or on the this island, I think. It's important to get this position here on the hill. If you hold the hill, you can nearly shoot on every point yeah. of the map and control the Not whole game. Not just shoot, you can just... Uh, it's also a nice spotting position for the artillery uh, That's well. true, yeah, sure. Um, so... Bigmont wants to come in and who yeah. do have to... The team's still not ready or what? No, no they, they keep still one player smashing or uh, swapping the lineup again. So we have to see which. We have one tank too much on team. So on team the first yeah. pad. So yeah. Let's have a look what's going on. First pad. I got another message from. Uh, Desert Arms, yeah, your oh. fanboy. <laughs> yeah, Desert Arms. <laughs> uh, he's not a fanboy. He's a cool. He's a cool guy, really. And yeah. He's, he's just. Uh, we were just. I just uh, introduced him to you, and he also said he's looking for an, a pro team in ESL. So, if you're interested, uh, can have a look at his. Oh, so we can just. Let, let, let's switch to his uh, profile. I'm going to show you his profile. Here we are. It. So yeah. this guy, he has 14,000 matches. <laughs> oh, 14, impressive. Less. So that's, uh, I think, he's one of the players who have the most matches in uh, the but whole But world look tank. Wi which tank he play, only scouts. He's, yeah, he um, seems to be an excellent scout player. Uh, uh, 6,000 games for scouts. But he, also, but he also has a mouse, T30, T54, T95, so he is a pr it seems to be, to be a pretty good player. He hasn't, he's got a, a clan, SP2 at the moment, but uh, I reckon that does w should be a problem if you want to play in the ESL. No, no problem. Sure, so I'm, uh, I'm really impressed by that much games for scouts. Yeah. So if you, if anybody's listening, try out this guy. Oh. <laughs> okay. He's, he's, he's excellent. <laughs> okay. What's up with the teams here? Godsy minus. So. Godsy down. Yeah. Okay. So we have an even lineup: seven tanks on each side, 42 p tier level points, every side. So I think we can start. Let's wait for the ready. Team Red was ready as far as I saw it. Yeah, let us ask Team's ready. That we can. Uh, Sony's changing the tank again. Okay. So, two grills, two scouts. Yeah, the lineup end uh, three uh, T32. And I think they will drive to take the hill with uh, every three heavies. You think so? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <coughs> one T-52 will go to the um, island on yeah. this side, and the other one will um, first up go to the hill, maybe try to get the T-50 from um, red, and then directly back and uh, try to get in the village, or uh, his scout in this position here, and try to get the view of here, uh, this point of the map, <coughs> to know uh, where red is going on with the heavies. Okay, so let's get ready. Oh, we're in game, nice. So... Yeah, what do you think? We will um, draw again, 2-2, two or, two, or uh, that will make it safe in this round? Uh, that's a good question. I hope it's a 2-2, two, two just to make it interesting for, for the viewers, because uh, a 3-2 free, uh, free is more interesting than a 3-1, to be honest. Yeah, sure. So I'll go on my view first, so we can see what the 252s are doing at the beginning. 
Uh, again, I s not spawned inside the circle, that's pretty good, because at, at the beginning we kill ourselves, and um, if you kill ourselves in the circle, the other team could use it as a as a shield, so we always have to drive out. I got a pretty good position at the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this show on We're the road. For it. Everyone get out! So, we are so done. There we have the flying camera. Uh, let's have a look. I have one T50 drive. Oh, you, uh, I forgot to change it. Just notice I'm Team Red at the moment. So that doesn't matter. Um, let's have a look what Team Red's doing. So we have a T50 at the beginning, in the middle, driving the middle, and there they spotted the first T52 and the T32. Yeah. And, and on the other side we have a T... Try to directly run away from Xynef, who yeah. is waiting for him. And we have a T1 driving over into the village. You'll be spotting yeah. there. And the rest of the heavy tanks, um, what are they Stay doing? defense. They are camping in the base. Maybe they're waiting to see what the other heavies are doing, if they're driving up the middle. Have a look what the scout can spot, but at the moment mm. the scout is spotting nothing. Okay, and Begumot tried to get the uh, view on the hill again. But I don't get it why Ki uh, Ki Kilo oh, I can't even spell his, uh, say his name. Kiri Lloyd is staying open on the field. Okay, I think no, we can hear the view of Xynef, try to get the hill and maybe he can uh, um, get the view of the heavy tanks from Team Red. But I think Belmont uh, remember the last meet with Xynef on Pro Rovka, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think uh, yeah, it will go too offensive here. He's going to be a bit, bit yeah. safer now. But it's hard to start for Xynef also, because if he drives through, I think the artillery from Red is aiming on the hill, and if he uh, gets the view on yeah. the enemies, he also gets the hits. <coughs> yeah, the second T50 is here hi behind in the small village and try to sneak out, and I think now first pad recognize that uh, the whole team right is in the left upper corner. Yeah, they're still in the base, they're not doing yeah. much Now they spotted one. Team, spotted. team Red has spotted one tank. Yeah, the booth artillery is behind in the base, really defensive. But something else, why, why they still... Like, oh, no, we can do that later. Um, I just saw that the T-52 was in the middle, just got a hit. Yeah, I think uh, it's what, Juratic, right? Or? Uh, CNF got the hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, and Nitro said also go to the hill, and I think um, Red really plays artillery defense and really defensive tactic. It's yeah, not the way I know they normally they're playing really offensive or to use the straight way forward, but this time they're really waiting and don't want to make the same mistake like on Prorovka and getting crushed by two artilleries. Yeah, definitely. At the moment, in standing or um, artillery safe. Maybe mm. I think there's one tank that isn't artillery safe, but he's also hard to spot. He's on the right hand side by the lighthouse in a bush. He's trying to, I reckon he's going to be trying shooting over the middle, but no tanks are spotted. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering where doing all a the scout heavy change. <laughs> the one scout goes on the left. Yeah, that's <laughs> th th there you can see again how professional the teams are really because uh, the one scout has been hit. If he gets another hit up the middle, he's dead. Yeah. So they change change it. The full well scout goes back to the Thomas middle. Thomas do his job here yeah, and just switch to the Yeah, sides, and then yeah. the, the uh, other scout has got his hit, just goes in the village because in the village there are no tanks anywhere at the moment. So all you have to do is just be there so and make sure that no tank comes. Yeah, what the Team Red is doing, uh, maybe you can switch to Smear Smash, uh, Steel Smasher's view and let us look what he is doing. Okay, Steel Smasher, like I said, he's uh, still camping in the bush at the moment. Uh, but he was spotted, maybe he gets some artillery soon. No, he's artillery safe at the moment. Oh, okay, now he's safe, yeah, I see. So I reckon you'll just wait a bit and then maybe the artillery will try a blind shot. But no, uh, one tank spot in the middle again. So let's see, half of the game is nearly finished now. Four minutes already passed, and still no, no. not one single hit on a big yeah. tank. So Both teams are really defensive and waiting that the other team makes a fail and then fail, and they then can they, they can th use the. Yeah, well there you can see that uh, they're both playing for a lot of money. Yeah. They're both playing for a lot of money, so they want to be safe here. Yeah? yeah, sure. Nobody wants to <laughs> risk to lose uh, the prize money, but I think it's 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 not only the prize money that's important. Yeah, it's yeah. only the sportsmanship you want to win when you're in the final. You don't want the second place. That's it's it. The I first losers place. I'd rather be third place. Uh, rather win the win the small final than lose the big final because yeah. then, then you, you like you the feel much the better if you yeah. win the th uh, small final than losing the big final. Yeah, sure. If you stay in the final, you want to win it. That's it. So, uh, well, what can we say at the moment? We can't say much at the moment. Uh, all yeah, we're still waiting for the activity, but I think um, I I'm switch I'm back I here and um, I can't see no movement at all at all on uh, yeah. red side. And if it would be if it would be a draw, it would be a complete draw because. Um, no team has lost a tank because we have a rule. Um, if the match end is draw, the team with them uh, with more tier points wins. But now, yeah. if, uh, maybe yeah. it's important um, where red plays the tier one. Maybe the, the T50 can in the late game try to get a uh, sneak kill on the T1 Cunningham. Yeah, 
maybe that maybe that will be uh, done at the end because if I look at Team Red, they have one tank ready in the village. So I reckon as soon as uh, the match is nearly finished, that one tier eight tank will drive into the village, kill the last, will kill one scout, and then move and hide, and then at the end they will win it. But that will be a pretty sad match to be honest, because yeah. I want to see a bit of action here. Yeah, sure. The next T8 tanks came to the middle, so we have two T8 tanks in the middle. One is driving up the hill now. Okay, maybe try, but um, first bet is waiting for it. Ace and Butcher are waiting behind. That was um, the one guy in front. Say, hey, hello, here I am, and try to get me. And yeah, the, the whole team, uh, first bet team, is waiting for the red. I don't know if red makes a fail and uh, try to get the hill now. Yeah, the problem is, first bet can't do it because if first bet does it and lose it. They lost the whole tournament, yeah. so they would rather stay uh, stay back, take the first shots, do the first hits, <coughs> and then they're safer. So it's going to be Team Red who has to do the. Yeah. First the problem move, yeah. for first bet is they can't go down the hill. They uh, die for sure if yeah. they try to go down on the hill on the red side, and uh, Red can't move up because they die if they move up. It that's the uh, putt situation and can't do anything at the moment. Maybe you have to try to oh. Tank no. Switch the tanks because I don't see it. Maybe we go to your position. What is red on? Mm. No, every everything. Everything is the safe. They're just yeah. safe. They're just you know, camping there. We can have a look over, fly over the map. Yeah. So at the moment we have here three tanks, two T8s, and one scout. But the scout isn't doing anything at all at the moment. And in the middle we have the T32 who is just like <coughs> keeping driving around. But I'm not sure what he's doing now. Is he going to show himself? Yeah. He has to watch out because on the other side, uh, maybe <coughs> look here, there's another T32. Mm. You might get a clear shot on it in a bit, but I don't think so. And on the other side, <coughs> if you look down here, I can't see him at the moment, but here are the. Heavy ah, I think we have here a really nice um, Xyna spot as a tier one from Kill the Red, and maybe they can kill the tier one you know, with artillery, and then um, Red have to attack. But um, the tier one is defended by a T32 uh, on the left it side. It doesn't matter if, if the artillery gets a shot in, but by the looks of it, it's artillery safe. No chance. Yeah, yeah, but I think um, maybe um, Tomasz with T50 have to try to s uh, get a kill by the tier one. He's fast enough to kill the T1 and uh, directly go back, and uh, it's really. Uh, bad luck if you get hit by the enemy um, heavy tank. The, yeah, but that thing is too risky, I think. That's why I won't do it. Yeah, but... When I just saw Archery is trying some blind shots now on the old position of the T1. Luckily he moved, because if he wouldn't have moved, he would have been dead now. So that was a pretty lucky move there. And now I also detected... Uh, the uh, T32 has been detected in the middle. And now two... All three tier uh, eights are going to be shooting at it now. He's going to be lost. He's dead. That's yeah. e EJS from uh, first pad. He's op uh, open on the field. It's going to be shot from behind in a bit, and also two from the front, and the artillery is already greedy for yeah. him as well, and there's the first hit. So if he goes down, the match is going to be pretty sure lost then, because... Yeah, but um, Booth's artillery from Pet can now aim oh, on yeah. red, and now they can get the full okay. fire, and I think Kilroyd will die uh, as uh, so fast. So both, both, tanks gonna, both teams are going to lose one tank, maybe, but the T-32 for first, but oh, he's down now, so they one short, and... Uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty hard for first pet now. Yeah. They, couldn't, they shouldn't have lost him. Uh, I can't see no artillery shots. Oh, oh 690 from the f artillery. That yeah. was pretty nice shot. But that's the thing. Um, uh, Red is rushing with the full uh, strength of the army, and the artillery are not uh, that fast enough to kill the heavies if they're rushing. If you have a, a, a slow game and you can scout the enemy, the artillery are really, really cool. But in this situation, they are too slow, and uh, one gets spotted and killed by the Hummer. And I uh, think that was the match point for Red. No, they can't uh, lose this game anymore. Um, I'm not sure about that because we now we have a um, T-52. Both T-52s in the enemy base now. They're going to be kill their artillery and then and they're uh, going to be capping the base. So at the moment, uh, it doesn't look that good for Red, to be honest. Uh, they have the artillery. Uh, okay, now forget that, that. forget that what I just said. Artillery uh, killed one T-52. No, yeah, steel smasher was it? Uh, T-32 uh, in the water. Uh, get the hit oh on the yeah. enemy artillery. No, that was unlucky. That was th that uh. would have been a ch uh, th that could have been a win for first pet, but yeah. now after losing him, I'm not that yeah. convinced anymore. Only two tanks left. So he'll be trying to capture it, but I don't think he'll be able to manage it because there's no. a T32 coming back as well. Uh, three heavy tanks driving back to Tomas and uh, we're getting him. Yeah, I think it's um, first pet guys writing g GG. Yeah, it looks yeah, Red safe will win. We can. I think. So, um, yeah, now 
there's the first hit, and he's burning. No, no, it's not burning. The T1 is using his machine gun. Yeah, okay. I think he's, he he's will kill the tier one. Yeah, oh, now he's dead. Now yeah, he's still dead. smasher do a ni again a really nice hit on the scout and kill Booth uh, T52. Yeah. So, that was so we didn't see the <laughs> fifth map. I'm sad. sad. I'm sad. <laughs> I want to see this next map. So um, yeah, end result three one for Team Red. As we said at the beginning, it was it looked like Team Red would win the match. Yeah. No, no, no offense against uh, First, but they're a pretty good team. Nice guys. Uh, it was an interesting battle, especially yeah, the second Yeah, for sure. Map yeah, really, the really nice. Yeah, they yeah. won one. That was a really nice match. Too. Really nice performance by both teams, for sure. Yeah. But at the end, only one could win, and this time it was again Team Red. Yeah, Red was this time uh, the better team, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So congratulations to Team Red. Four thousand euro. Uh, we'll go to them, and first pet would also win 2,500 euro. And uh, let's have a look at the time. It's 8 o'clock now. I can quick write the other, other match and tell them that we will stream that also. So then Yeah, um, yeah the small here. final. Uh, we can also stream here. Uh, I think it's a German team, uh, Druckwelle against yeah, German uh, Red, uh, second team, I think. Oh? Um... Against yeah, against Team Red two. Okay, I will take a look if the rooms. Have a look if the rooms open. open. I'll uh, quick write and so again, uh, Team Red, congratulations! Four thousand five, uh, four thousand euro goes to you. Don't spend it all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Invest it wisely, maybe in some, uh, um, maybe maybe in New York, maybe in a nice company. I heard that singer from uh, from Facebook is going. Uh, is going. Oh, I can't. I can't. I don't know the word. Axiom. Axiom English. What's the word? I've lost the word. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that won't be funny anymore. <laughs> I, I ju just don't listen to you. Just as a moment, I take a look on the stream and try to uh, get the next match for. So I, I didn't hear what you say. So sorry for that. It doesn't matter. So that was a pretty interesting match. Now both teams leaving. Great GG. Yeah. Fair players. And. Exit the room and yeah, uh, the room still open. You can join directly into the game. People are asking where to post uh, post their nicks. I would also suggest because uh, I don't think many are finding the news on the. Quick! Oh, I know why we didn't see no nicks because I didn't look at the news. Oh, Steven. So let's have a look. If we've got what a mistake! What you're doing? So. I can just jump on my screen now. Yeah. Look at the news. So, uh, still no nicknames. Oh, I'm so, oh. I'm so disappointed, guys. So, uh, okay, because you seem not to be finding the news, um, also you can also go into the World of Tanks forum. I'll show you. Um, you can just click on the newest news from World of Tanks, the English news. It's called EMS 9 uh, World of Tanks Finals. Just click on it and scroll down, and you see at the bottom, discuss on forum. Just click on that. Go on the last page. Yeah. There, we can see some posts, and then just post your nickname. I'll just, uh, I don't know, I'm locked, lo not logged in. Just log in, and then I can write guys that they can do it. So, uh, have you already found the room of the... Of the yeah, sure, for sure. Are I mean they waiting? Oh, so... Yeah, um... Um, I think I will switch to my monitor and still talk about the for the game if you. You can turn to invite me already. Well yeah, um, I don't know who to make the room open, but um, here we will see the team from uh, Germany, Druckwelle, playing versus uh, the second team from Red, also participated in the EMS and um, losing versus r the first team of Red in the uh, semi final. Druckwelle lose against first pet. No other opponent was possible, I think, when Pat was in the final. So, yeah, um, I think many uh, World of Tanks players use the team from Druckwelle as well, because they're the winner of the EPS, the German event, um, yeah, and to still get some prize money. So, I think they're um, hu still hungry to get the third place today, and it's it's really, really an even match. I think boost teams can, uh, boost teams can win this fight. And, yeah, I think the first map is, again, Cliff, we will see, yeah. Yeah. Every team's like Cliff and every team like position two and Cliff, so every team that can choose to take Cliff first in position two to get the, a, a safe round at the beginning. So, uh. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Tell them to don't kill us. Yeah, if you want, tell them and yeah. Um. 
I think everyone remembers the map of the last game, and I think uh, we will see a similar tactic from both teams trying to get the view with the scout on the hill here yeah, in this seems position. To, seems to be a mirror match again. Only one yeah. difference is that uh, Team Red is using a Pershing, and uh, instead of a heavy tank. So that's the only difference. So look, what Desert Arms writing again? One more question. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, asking when you know who will win the gold. I would say um, at the end of the stream, I'll mm. look who posted their nicknames and then I'll just pick five random yeah. nicknames and then let's go. I will ch switch to this. I'd say Desert Island's definitely going to get some. So, uh, so look, both teams ready? Yeah, both teams ready, then can we switch in game and back? Oh, and Desert Arms always also, also asking if you can watch the match uh, some sometime later. And yes, you can. Um, we will edit the video a bit and then load it, uh, upload it via YouTube, and then we'll just On the ESL page, you can see a uh, as VOD as well yeah, uh, as file well. as well. As well, and yeah. uh, we'll send the YouTube link to Wargaming, and they will just publish it on their homepage. And maybe the news will be announced about the winning yeah, team and the video files, you can watch it. And um, I make a replays and recording. I hope maybe some uh, of the team players also do the replay function, the new replay function in yeah. World of Tanks, coming with a patch. And um, yeah, I will upload it as well, and if you want, feel free to download and watch. Uh, I think I will upload it in the match comment and match media file on yeah. this L page. What uh, we could also, oh, I've just got a quite interesting idea. What we could do is um, start a competition. Uh, I'll talk to Wargaming if we could do that. Some Get some video footage. Uh, you play some matches, do a nice replay, whatever. Do some editing, add some nice sounds and so on. And then uh, do a small competition and give the winner some gold. It's not official, I will try to do my best, but I think that will be quite an interesting idea. So I'll have a talk and then just stay tuned. Just check out our Facebook page, uh, ESL World of Tanks um, fan page. Here's another link, I can show you the link. Uh, that's the War World of Tanks link. E ESL World of Tanks. Uh, okay, it's not loading. So just search for ESL World of Tanks and then just like us. Stay tuned and then if you can see uh, so if you have some competition. So, is ready, so I think we can switch in game and uh, yep. start with the game. I will, I'll just send him the link uh, to the stream as well. Yeah, do it. It's pretty funny seeing the stream now at the moment. Lucky I can't hear us because then I'll be pretty embarrassed hearing myself. I reckon most of you will say, yeah, you're right. But, hey, that's my voice. I can't do nothing. <laughs> 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 okay. And copy-paste isn't working. Uh, so I reckon they want their fans looking as well. And at the moment we have 500 viewers going up, going down. Oh, there we were again. So I can't send a link, unfortunately, so I'll just write it. Oh, and okay, we're starting going in-game, yeah. I think I get a, a first a view of the T-50 from uh, Pitchfork. Yeah, I'll do the same as well, but the first time I'm not spawning uh, outside the base, that's, that's making yeah. me sad now. And you can shot, take a watch of my nice camouflage on this. Oh yeah, that's what I was just about to ask. Did you see any cam uh, any skins on the on the on your team? Because I only saw one skin on a T50 from Team Red. Now I see one skin no, on. Uh, still no skins here. No, no, no. Who is it in front of me? I can see one. Skin ah, on oh, one skin here, but Tiger Two from Hostel. Hostel got a skin. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Pet has also has a skin on. But that's just it. I, I think Void and also two skins here on my side, so... I reckon most of them don't want to waste their skins, so... Uh, their gold, so... Fair enough. Uh, here we go, outside the circle. We're done for! Everyone get out! Yeah, and let us look in the view of Pitchfork if he's scout... Okay, my T-50 is going up the hill. He's... Uh, but I'm looking at your screen and it looks like your scout will be there first. Yeah, I'll show you also the easier and the uh, shorter way. Oh, Pitcher make a big mistake and crushing the small okay, so that was stone. Better for him now. And um, yeah, maybe we'll get too late. Oh, yeah. There we go. We no, they got a really big problem. 
and uh, now you have to try to get him to hunt him or to suicide. I hope uh, for Pitchburgh that the enemy in tier 8 don't will hit him. But now he has to run and I think he don't survive. Best uh, hit position. Oh, uh, yeah. I think is oh nice, really nice lucky. Shot. That nice left shot. I was tracked, so he's gonna be dead. Yeah. That's pretty that's a big loss now. They lost their scout right at the beginning. He couldn't do his job, he couldn't spot the no, man, no, no. still not lost, maybe he can survive, but uh, yeah, oh, no, he's, he, he's scared. Yeah, he he's definitely wouldn't survive that. The T50 so. is just as fast, he can just chase in no time. So that was a big loss now. Um Yeah, sure, and then it's really hard to, to get to know the um, the side of you and um, doing a, a really offensive tank. But uh, yeah, no, st uh, still in position and uh, heavy tanks from red still on the way. If you look here, they're still driving um, and trying to get yeah, the position. What's also, what's also really interesting is this VK in the base is not doing anything at all. He's just waiting in the base and will try to shoot the tank from moving over. But I think that's a pre pretty risky tactic as well because now that... Um, yeah, um, yeah Grimari tank. tried to get the T50, but with this tank, he gets his um, turret and the scan not uh, low enough to hit anything and Lefer and his Pershing use the uh, US ability and can't hit him and it's it's not that good, uh, but you have to try to scout because the T50 is down. Yeah, definitely. But now uh, we see two tanks of Jupiter halfway down. So, yeah. There's a tank he's looking at at the moment. He's only down to 500 HP at the moment. And um, looking at Team Red, I can only see one hit on a tier 8 tank. Yeah, no. Short, take a look on the camouflage here. You see yeah, nothing one. from his artillery because it's perfectly camouflaged here. Yeah. <laughs> but still, the skin doesn't have no function at the moment. But uh, as far as I know, uh, the future patches, it would also uh, change your your camera, uh, your spotting rate, so it will be harder to spot if you have a certain skin. Let's say you have a snow skin on your tank, yeah, on the snow map, you'll be harder to spot. Aiming on the back side from the team and trying to defend uh, if uh, the enemy team tried to surround the lighthouse but, uh, with a nice camouflage. The only thing where you'll be uh, defending there is a T50. Yeah. So. Yeah, the problem is uh, well, they can't really attack now, they have to wait off the enemy. But maybe they get the Doctor now out um, and even up the match. Mm, I can't see any oh. red tank damaged. No, come badly. shoot him, shoot him. Oh, miss again. Hoyt, you have to kill an enemy scout. And now it was really bad. We have two tanks concentrating on the scout at the on the right hand side now. So the other two and T8s no. are pushing over the hill now and one, two, yeah, start and to do some uh, Yeah, and get hit. I switch to your position. Yeah, Maybe we can we go a bit then closer to see the fire line. And let's go to the first tank. There he is. Well uh, oh, so the scout is down. Yeah, <laughs> with the uh, third or fourth hit. Yeah, but um, Rashto and Zaliria get some uh, hits here. If you see, 930 hit points left and 1,000 uh, uh, 200 hit points yeah. left. And yeah. also on the other side, you got one tank with only 190 HP left. So uh yeah, it's Grosgrimari. He tried to sneak in the middle, and, and it's it's impossible for a German tank to uh, sneak on the in the middle if the enemy has the US tanks. It's, uh, yeah, you think US about it, it's impossible to sneak with a heavy tank weighing 40 tons or whatever it is. Yeah, <laughs> try, try to that's sneak around. True, yeah. it's, it's quite it's quite funny, really. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice try, but as you see, it didn't work. And now uh, we see the red tanks relocating. They know that there's one tank on the right-hand side, yeah, only 190 HP. So they're going to try to push around the side, kill, finish that one tank, and then there's only one tank left, and then two against one. Yeah, I think it's the fight. best way to win the match, uh, to take us around, the, uh, around the lighthouse and uh, through the middle, because they, uh, they have the advantage from the US tanks and yeah. can uh, take in the middle. But um, they're still attacking on line one or two, I see, on your monitor. Yeah, I reckon that's going to be also... And still not spotted by uh, Dockville. I switched to uh, Tregard, now we see it. Power slide sliding behind to so finish him. And uh, looking at, at your minimap, I can't see any Trockwelle tank who could yeah. be ready to defend. Yeah. Because as soon as they drive back to uh, defend their base, the, the problem other two is tanks will come from behind. The Adderley is still uh, down the position and the, the they had a really bad position for a tier 1 tank, so they have a really um, late side of yeah. the attack on line 1 or 2 and the Adderley is not really safe at this point. And now they're attacking um, in the north position in the lighthouse and yeah, Grimari is down. I don't know why he gets a position from Hoyt and Hoyt use uh, the Grimari's position because Hoyt can get the hits and um, stay really more defense and better. 
maybe that's was a tactical mistake that uh, Grimari don't get the position from Hoyt. But uh, you see, Hoyt can easily shoot on the two tanks and getting uh, no hits. Yeah. And we also see on the other side and pushing through on the other side, so... Yeah, oh, first hit and burning. That's yeah. bad luck. But I think he will yeah, easily yeah. kill uh, the uh, Pazzi Tiff. Uh, also, if the artillery is missing, like, no. No, uh, way back and... Yeah. It's just, it's just slowing down the loss, to be honest. Oh, um, no, uh, it's still not a uh, loss, but it's really hard now. Maybe they have uh, to easily kill the Ooh, three That machos. was a nice shot of the artillery. 800 damage on the T32. That was an excellent shot from Horsa. But now the artillery is down, the base is being captured. So I think uh, hmm. now, you ca now you can say it's pretty yeah, safe. Yeah, no, 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 it's, it's still not safe. Uh, two heavies against one heavy and the uh, artillery is not a safe game for me. If Rashtor can uh, sneak, uh, uh, get the view on the base and scout only and uh, don't shoot, Hoyt can still uh, finish and uh, uh, the tanks in the base. At the moment, uh, the tier, they're doing it perfect. I c if you go and t uh, have a look at here, you see the big tank is in front and he can also be killed if he wants to. That's no big deal because the T1 is behind the big tank. Uh, oh, I forgot to Switch. Yeah, okay. now we are live <laughs> on your view. Uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, again, we see the tier, uh, tier A tank at the front. They defend him, yeah, sure. Yeah. If he goes down, the T1 behind him is safe. So uh, Yeah, but uh, if they focus now here and um, Hoyt get a clear view, maybe Rashtor can kill um, Sel. Also, it's, it's not uh, sure that they will win the game. And oh. they, they, they is down. Nice shot. But I don't know why Rashtor didn't view the heavy tank. Yeah, I think now it's a win because Adley can now finish, uh, has still reloaded and Rush to have only uh, 73 uh, uh, hit points left. But it's what not still finish if Boost Heavy Tanks uh, uh, still alive. If Rush to get some hits from the side and um, if four hits against two hits, they have a uh, uh, chance to kill the enemy Heavy Tank. Yeah. So now we see. It's a really, catcher. really close game, yeah. But uh, the first round for the Red. Yeah. I think um, Druk will uh, make two or three big mistakes. The first right one, the beginning. yeah, driving quite at the beginning, the losing the scout. Not Co even losing the scout, driving against the stone. Stone. Yeah, because that is, he nearly tracked himself, and then it was too late in the middle of the bush. And yeah, that was the first uh, big point. And um, yeah, the second one was, uh, I think, the tier one staying too defense in yeah, the uh, uh, small village on line one or two, and really really too late get the view of the attack from red and yeah but it, it was uh, one step to another if they had the view in the whole game they never have to stay this uh, de defensively or have to yeah. know uh, one heavy tank from red is missing on the plateau we have to attack we're one more on this side and then they uh, had the better position so uh let's see if the if the can now even the, the match map. again. Yeah. I hope. Oh, Na Lakeville. Yeah, I get <laughs> Lakeville <laughs> today. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> Lakeville. <laughs> yeah. So, um, looks like they're changing the lineup again. I can't see an artillery. The artillery is out at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I've, I've, I've I reckon they'll so bring in the artillery again. But I've Red will start on position two. I think Lakeville is really an even map. It's it's not really important if you start in south or north position. Maybe it's the south position have a really, really small advantage, ever, uh, but uh, not that uh, much. It's a really even map. What do you think what we will see? A take on the uh, city or li on line one or two? I suppose by the looks of the tanks we have a Pershing as well. I reckon we'll have a Pershing and a T-32 in the middle from Team Red. And the rest of the heavy tanks will be in the village and only one T-1 on the... Uh, on the left hand side okay. to just be spotting mm. and uh, I remember we had Druckwell in, in the finals in the EPS finals on this yeah for too. sure and um, I was I think they had the small small artillery what now they're not doing that so they're using a different mm. tactic at the moment uh, I, I think don't can you remember think they, had, they had the small the small German artillery and uh, I can remember the T1 rushing over the middle and the artillery lo had a lucky shot on him but now they're using a completely different tactic so yeah, but um, yeah, if we switch in game and we can show the uh, setup here on your screen, and um, we see that boost teams uh, um, playing different tactics. Uh, Red plays a tactic with five heavy tanks on this map. I don't really like five heavy tanks on this map. You have the big advantage of the artillery, and you can use it if your position is r correct and. Um yeah. It can make uh, the big point if you get an artillery on this map. But for sure, if you play an aggressive style and directly rush to the enemy base, 
with uh, five heavies who have the bigger gun in front. Maybe you should try with five heavies to rush on line one or two and try to get uh, the, f uh, the fast win on the map, maybe. Uh, so, let's have a look what's going on. I, I can also remember a match of uh, Red playing this map with five heavy tanks and they took the left hand side. So, maybe we will see something, no standard tactic. And uh, might see push from Team Red over the uh, over the left side. It'll be pretty inter interesting s to see because um, usually on the left hand side ah, we only have oh. one scout. Oh, the change. Oh, see. Look, well, switch the tactic. I like I you say. Yeah. <laughs> sure, so I remember. Yeah. Them using their tactic. Tier three artillery and the Falka. Yeah, and that's the same t uh, tactic what they use on the EPS finals, and it was pretty interesting to see. I was standing right behind them, and it was playing quite good. It was quite. I, I remember Hosta play uh, uh, stay really bad, uh, get uh, um, choice a really bad position with his artillery and get early hit it in the game. I think. Yeah, but he still survived, and that was excellent. And afterwards, <laughs> afterwards, uh, a T1 was trying to rush over the middle. We can just uh, on which screen are we on? Yours. He was rushing over the middle here. The T1 came up here, and the artillery was standing on this position. Yep. And it was just like a close tank destroyer shot and took down the uh, the T1. Because mm. if the T1 would have got through and killed the artillery, they could he could have took the base and the match would have ended different. But this way, uh, Horster, is his name Horster? Horster yeah. saved the day. <laughs> so, uh, let's have a look. Let's wait. What's going on? Here again. Desert arm. 